Hi guys, welcome back. So today I have a very interesting video for you, at least I hope so, because I know a bunch of you probably have prom coming up right around the corner, end of June, early July, and my prom was June 23rd, 2011, and it was probably one of the most stressful but enjoyable days of my young life, and I thought that if I could share some tips with you and make the process easier, then why not? So if you're interested, please keep watching. So the first tip I have for you is the importance of booking everything in advance. Oh my goodness, I cannot stress this enough. So whether that be for your hair, your makeup, your nails, your transportation, all these things need to be taken care of in advance because as much as we want to think that our school is the only one that's having prom, it's not. Um, a bunch of other schools are having prom, probably a, bun a bunch of weddings are happening, bachelorette parties, birthday parties, and all these people are going to want the same services as you. So if you can get your name on the list early, you don't have to worry that you're not going to have any kind of professional to do these things for you on your special day. I especially want to emphasize the importance of booking your transportation early because um, we tried to book transportation two months in advance my turn um, and it was not early enough because all the limos were booked, all the luxury cars were booked, and we had to be transported around in our parents' cars, which was not nearly as cool as a limo. So if you want to have some kind of luxury car or limo or whatever it is, make sure that you book it this month. I would say book all your hair, makeup, all kinds of things. All those things, book them this month. The next thing I want to mention real quick is just two pieces of advice for your dress. Now, I'm the kind of girl whose body shape is not the standard and I know I am not alone on this. And that means that although going shopping for dresses with your friends is kind of a ritual before prom, it doesn't mean that it's going to be an easy process for you and you might find that dresses just aren't fitting you right. And that can kind of bring down your confidence a lot. I know it did for me. Don't feel upset. That does not mean that there's anything wrong with you at all, but just look into other ways of getting a dress. And I know what me and a couple other friends did was we chose to get our dresses online. Now I specifically went to eBay and there are a ton of dresses on eBay, so look into that. And once I selected a design that I liked, I just simply measured myself, sent in my measurements, and then I was able to get my dress. And not only are the dresses cheaper online, but also because you're sending in your measurements, you can save money on alterations so that really helps a lot now there's a little funny story I have about my prom dress I ordered my dress five months in advance which for a lot of people is like really really early um, but I was super excited so I ordered mine five months in advance but three months before I was supposed to get my dress I got a message from my seller and they said to me that Japan where my dress was coming from um, was hit by a natural disaster and the factory that my dress was being made in was destroyed um, in this disaster and oh my god I felt so bad for them and I was like oh my god I can't believe you actually even got back to me and like during this time of like probably a lot of high stress and things so I really felt bad for them but also now I had no dress but luckily because I booked or I ordered my dress so early in advance I had enough time to recuperate and get a new one so the moral of the story is get your dress early go along with that, the second thing I want to tell you guys is all about alterations. Now say you do go down the path of getting your dress in store, which is totally fine, um, chances are, unless you're super super lucky, that you might need to get some alterations done on your dress. And what my piece of advice would be is to give your dress to the person who's doing the alterations as soon as possible. I know a lot of people might want to lose weight or gain weight or tone up or whatever it is for the day of prom and so they choose to give their dress in very very, like maybe a week or so before prom. I think that's a really bad idea because the person who's doing your alterations will probably have a lot of other dresses that need to be altered at the same time and this could affect the quality of work done on your dress. Not only that, um, sometimes it could be that the first round of alterations just isn't enough and there are still some things that need to be tweaked but if the person doesn't have enough time to make these changes then you're going to be stuck with an ill-fitting dress on prom which not only is not going to look its best but it'd also be maybe uncomfortable to wear because it'll be a little bit too big or a little bit too small. So just get your dress to the alterations person as soon as possible. The next thing I want to mention is all about your shoes. Now ladies, get those shoes early and break them in. And no, I do not mean just wearing it for two hours in the kitchen one day while doing chores and thinking that you've broken it in. I'm talking about like at least a month of dedication, an hour a day, so you can figure out how these shoes really fit you. Now you might find that part of the shoe is rubbing on your skin wrong. And if this is the case, you can easily go to a shoe maker or I know Payless, for example, has, it's like a packet of I think like maybe eight or 12 little sponge tabs that you can stick in different parts of the shoe to provide a bar uh, to provide a barrier between your foot and the shoe and that might make your shoe a lot more comfortable but you won't know that unless you really worn in the shoe and become one with the shoe. 
Another thing is you might find that the shoes are tight, say like maybe it's a peep toe for example and it's tight and squishing your toes. What you could do in that case, you could take a Ziploc bag, fill it approximately halfway with water and stick it, like tuck that into the front of the shoe and then stick your shoe in the freezer and as the water freezes and it expands, uh, your shoe will be stretched. But you will never know this unless you really break in those shoes. Next, for your jewelry, um, what I've noticed about costume jewelry is that it tends to tarnish or change color, I guess because of oxidization when mixed with other metals. So just a quick tip of advice for your jewelry is to keep it in a separate container or bag or have it hang have it like hung up somewhere so that it doesn't um, get mixed with any other kind of metals and change color and it looks exactly how you bought it for the day of prom. The last thing I want to mention is a couple of essentials that you should keep in your bag. And the first one um, is actually two things, is double sided tape and or safety pins. Because for example, if you have a strapless dress while you're dancing, it could start slipping down a little bit and in that case you can either safety pin it or double side tape it to your undergarments. Um, or maybe if you have a strap on your dress um, and the strap breaks, then a friend can safety pin it to your dress for a temporary fix. Another thing that I suggest you bring along is tampons or a pad for you or for your friends because mother nature can be very unpredictable and if you're wearing a light colored dress it can really be the source of a lot of embarrassment and discomfort for you so please be prepared by bringing some form of sanitary pads in your clutch. You might also want to keep a couple of little uh, sticky pads that you've already put in your shoe in case it rubs your skin the wrong way somewhere or if a friend who's less prepared has some shoe problems you can help her out and also keep some band-aids in case of cuts and all that kind of stuff. The last thing I suggest is you divvy up the money you're going to bring with you and keep it in a couple different places so that in case you lose your clutch or something happens you don't lose all of your money. Those are all my tips and tricks. I hope that this helped you out. If you're watching this and you have a tip that I didn't mention, please leave it down below. Happy planning. I love you all. Take care and I'll see you next time. Bye.